All right, we're walking uh, downtown Munich, heading to the Oktoberfest uh, grounds. <laughs> hey! Herzlich willkommen, welcome here in uh, Danigo. <laughs> uh, Danigo. <laughs> My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a Discovery Flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the Southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. All right, we're walking uh, downtown Munich, heading to the Oktoberfest uh, grounds. It's only, I mean, it's 11.15 and you can see the people walking in here already so we figured we'd get an early start maybe uh oh maybe not early enough my understanding is it's hard to find a seat in some of these tents so we'll give it a shot see if we can scope it out at least and then we'll come back here and meet helmet at the train station model ah, predator oh yeah Of Bray. <laughs> Not too busy yet. And there's the midway in the back. Roll out the beer. Rolling out the beer. If you can smell what I smell right now, yes, it smells like cooking fish on a stick. <laughs> smell the fish? Okay, 
walking into the Hollander tent. This is impressive. Oh. Wow. Spaten. this picture. This is the image that you see as you pee in the pee troughs at the bathrooms at Oktoberfest. In case you wondered, yes, they're having a conversation about sausage link. And here's mine. Laven boy! <laughs> <laughs> there is the Laven boy lion or Lowenbrow as we call it in the States. Yeah. I had a beautiful tent and a uh, audio animatronic lion drinking a beer. Only an Oktoberfest. Yeah. That's because he likes the beer. <laughs> yeah. Of course, the Pauliner tent. Very large. Very large. Beer at the top. Oh, look at these. Oh, they got white horses. There's so much. Oh. Nine. Nymphitburg sex. Oh, yeah.
may I have your attention? Follow that beer wagon for the best beer at Oktoberfest. Thank you. And please don't forget to like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. I said earlier that Spaten was my favorite Oktoberfest beer. But entering this tent would forever change me and my taste buds. This tent was a little smaller and a little more unassuming. But the band and the beer and the ambiance is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Okay, so we were having a great time, drinking a lot of beer, and this crazy German band starts playing this. All they did was start this thing in their Oompa Band style. And everybody in this entire tent, regardless of their background, regardless of the country they came from, stood up on the table, raised their glasses, and everybody in the entire place started singing. See what I mean? Best beer, best ambiance, and definitely the best band. Now this was a fun time for me, and for Debbie, and for Helmut. After all, it was a 20-year promise I made back in the early 2000s that we would both go together to Oktoberfest. And I'll tell you what, it didn't disappoint. What a great time we had. And, and Helmut wasn't wrong about the Augustiner tent. It was by far the most fun I've ever had with 6,000 good friends, because that's what it seemed like. If you ever get a chance to go to Oktoberfest, definitely go, enjoy, but don't over enjoy, because that has its downsides too. We have struck the weather lottery. No such, no such luck here in Germany. It has rained every single day we've been here. It, I, we saw the sun 
I don't know, maybe yesterday. Yesterday for a few minutes. Yeah. Thankfully, it wasn't as bad for Oktoberfest, but uh, I guess this is uh, this is fall in Germany. This is what to expect. So, you know, we're, we're still enjoying ourselves. We're still having good beer and good food and our Bavarian umbrella at hand. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a decent trip other than the weather, but you know what? You gotta take the good with the bad. Sometimes you're not gonna get the best weather and uh, that's what we got. We're making the best. Food's good, coffee's good, and the pastries. Oh my God, pastries are great. So, another uh, walk back to the hotel. We are getting our steps in, right, babe? Yep. Look at that. Okay, welcome to M Town. <laughs> Bet you can't guess what that means. Yes, that is the BMW M. We're going into, I guess this is the newer museum. Look at that setup. Uh, the weather finally cleared up our last full day in Munich. You can see the sun shining on the Glockenspiel. Spatenhaus! So here is a cutaway of the A350. Look at the carbon fiber thickness. Okay, ready? Yeah, that's the one you need for those. Yeah. <laughs> I still gotta figure out what that means. One, two, three. <laughs>